Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video today, and today I am doing my Vikings prediction. So as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Help me reach 150, 175 subscribers before the end of the summer. I am only 23 subscribers away, so please help me at that goal by hitting that subscribe button down below. Make sure that you are watching all of my NFL predictions uh, from the Bears to the end of the uh, all 32 teams. So check out that NFL playlist if you want to watch any or all of the NFL predictions that I have. I will be having one out for all 32 NFL teams, so make sure you check that out. Like this video if you enjoy it, and comment all your thoughts and opinions down below. I am sure that I ha will have some very interesting comments as I have some Vikings fans on this channel. So this should be a really fun video. Let's get into it. So the Vikings start their season off in a game against Cincinnati. I think that this is a win here. The main reason that I think it's a win is because Joe Burrow coming back from an injury, an ACL tear, is going to take at least a couple of weeks to get ready. Um, and without a solid defense the way um, it, they need in order to be able to beat this team uh, and the Vikings, so I have this down as a win for the Vikings. In week two, they head, back, they head out west to Arizona to play the Cardinals. Um, I think that this is a tough game, but I think that the Vikings are able to get a win here. I think that the Cardinals are a very good team, but I think that the Vikings have a little bit more chemistry. Um, and I think with the development of all their cornerbacks, with Jeff Gladney, Xavier Woods, Cameron uh, Harrison Smith, and Cam Dantzler, I really think that they'll be able to shut down that passing attack. And we'll see how they do against the run, which is something that kind of scares me um, if you were a Vikings fan. Um, a home game against Seattle is their next opponent. Uh, this is their first home game of the year. I think that they lose this game just because I think Seattle has a better defense, a better offense, and a better team overall. Um, I think that the Vikings offense could be very potent this year and be a very good team. The problem is, is that they don't have a lot of um, defensive playmakers the way they used to. And that's something that kind of surprised me about Mike Zimmer in the past couple of years is he's always been known for defenses. Yet these past two years, it's been his offensive that have kept him in games and even won him some games. Um, heading into next week, they have their second home game of the year against the Cleveland Browns. The Browns are going to be a tough opponent and an even tougher one than the Vikings with a better defense, a better offense, and with just as many weapons as the Vikings do. With just, um, as the Vikings have Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen, the Cleveland Browns have Jarvis Landry, and Odell Beckham Jr., and Donovan Peoples-Jones, and a lot of other different guys that they can pass the ball to, so I would not be surprised if this is a big win here for the Cleveland Browns. Heading into their uh, Week 5 game matchup against the Detroit Lions, I have them winning this game. Detroit matches up very unfavorably with the Vikings, um, even though the Vikings don't have a good run defense, I still think that the Vikings offense is too potent, and with this being a home game for the Minnesota Vikings, I think they should be able to handle business. But don't be surprised if the Vikings lose this type of game. The next game is against at Carolina against the Carolina Panthers. I have this racked up as another win, and or an, a loss, I'm sorry. And even though I think that they could win this game, and I think that this is a game that they could win, I think that the Panthers are just a very good team with a lot of added star power with the addition of J.C. Horn in the draft and with that already star-studded defense that they spent seven draft picks last draft class from Jeremy Chen to uh, the defensive lineman that I'm blanking on his name. Um, man, I can't think of his name. Uh, either way, uh, but the Vikings have are going to, I think, struggle against this team uh, they have a lot of good pieces there, so I think that Carolina wins that game. Then they head back home to play the Dallas Cowboys. I think that this is a win here. Um, I think even though Dallas added a guy um, in uh, Micah Parsons to play linebacker, I still think that they're going to probably struggle on the defensive end, especially at that linebacker slot in the defensive end and in the secondary a little bit. So I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, Cowboys come out here with the loss. Then they head into a tough stretch of their season where the Vikings play at Baltimore. Uh, I think that this is a loss here. I think Baltimore with the run um, attack that they have will be very, very good. And I think that this is a loss here for the Vikings. Heading into the next week, we, they played the Los Angeles Chargers. 
The Chargers are a very good team with a rookie of the year coming off the bench in Justin Jefferson. Je uh, Justin Jefferson. Oh, my word. Justin Herbert. I am sorry. Um, Justin Herbert is a very talented quarterback with the addition of the some more key pieces at that spot. I really think that they will do well there, and I think that that will be a great addition to their team and a good overall factor there. And their next week, they play their first game against the Green Bay Packers at home. This is a loss for me because I think the Packers right now have Rodgers. If it changes, I will definitely be changing uh, these records because I think I have the uh, Packers at 11 or 12, 13 wins. And there's no way they get that without Rodgers. But with Rodgers, the Vikings do not have their number. The Packers definitely have the Vikings number, and I think that they'll win this game. Um, heading into... The 49ers uh, out west, that is going to be another tough team. I think this is another loss. They really showed this in the 2019 playoffs where the Vikings really got manhandled by the uh, 49ers in the playoffs, and I continue to think that streak will happen there. Um, heading into the next week, uh, they play the Detroit Lions in their second matchup. I think that Detroit will win this game, so at this point I think Detroit will be able to use that rushing attack that they do have to be able to really gain a lot of ground and a lot of um, a lot of ground yards and be able to control the clock at this point. I know that's opposite of what I said at the beginning of the year, but I think at this point Dan Campbell will be able to have a little bit better and more developed of a team, so we'll see what happens there, but I have this as a loss for the Vikings. Heading into the next week uh, with a home game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, I have them win this game. I think that the Steelers are a pretty. Um, and this is one. Of, this is going to be one of the steepest fall offs, I think, uh, for my team. They started off eleven and zero last year, uh, and then started to fall off the rest of the year to where they didn't. They barely made the playoffs, and then they got smacked around by the Cleveland Browns. So I would not be surprised if the Steelers really start to fall off this year. Um, then they head to Chicago for their first of two matchups this week and in the final week. I think that the Bears win this matchup for a couple of reasons. It's Monday Night Football, and, well, we all know how uh, Kirk Cousin performs in um, primetime games. So I'm going to chalk this up to as a loss, and it's at Soldier Field. So I really think that with the conditions, I know that Minnesota plays in Minnesota, but they ain't playing a dome. So I think that the Bears' run defense will be able to shut down Dalvin Cook at, like they have almost every other time. So I think that with that, I have that as a loss there. Then they head home to play the Rams. Um, but a very interesting matchup. A team uh, that the Rams could be really interesting this year with the addition of Matthew Stafford as their quarterback. A more competent and potential quarterback for an offense that already went to the Super Bowl not too long ago in three years. Um, so they went to the Super Bowl three years ago and with the addition of a lot better quarterback overall, so just generally... I think that this team could be really interesting, so I have this as a loss for the Vikings. Heading back to Green Bay, again, this is Aaron Rodgers we're facing here, um, so I have this as a loss for the Vikings. And to wrap up their season, I have them losing to the Bears, because I think the Bears will be fighting for a playoff spot and will be really eager to win this matchup, and the Vikings at this point are out of contention with a 6-11 and record. I want to say this. I know that a lot of people would not see this coming, and I think a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this. I know that's true, but I would like you. I would advise you to put your comments in the comment section because I will answer every single comment, and I think that it is really important to show that. Um, but that's all for today's video. Make sure the two videos down below. Hit the subscribe button up here. Help me reach 175 subscribers, and as always, have a great day. Bye.